You can't force people to think differently than they do. Not with anything, really, including how people feel about you. But especially regarding different demographics. For instance, if someone is racist, as long as they don't treat anyone poorly, and they don't discriminate, it shouldn't matter. Same with if someone is sexist, homophobic, transphobic, and anything else that ends in istrophobic. Being treated decently like any other human being should be what matters. You are simply not going to change anyone's mind. You're not going to change the way they think about really much of anything by screaming at them and telling them that they're something that ends in istrophobic. I'm sure that they're well aware that society frowns on them for it. You're not going to change the way people stereotype others, and you're certainly not going to change the way people categorize others in their head. Usually someone has to experience something extreme in order for them to change those things and, and start thinking about those things differently. Or maybe they meet an extraordinary person who challenges all the ideas, or most of the ideas, or just many of the ideas that they had in their head about certain demographics. Sure, we can force people to pretend they feel differently about a lot of stuff, but is this a good thing? Does this really help? Sure, we can teach people in diversity seminars what kind of language they need to use. But that doesn't change how people think of others. It just gives people a set of rules they need to follow or be fired. Is it really okay for society to force people to pretend to believe a certain way? We don't like the idea of Christian nationalists trying to force everyone to pretend they're Christian. So why is it okay to try to force everyone to have other types of beliefs? The pressure of the message becomes stronger every year. Another aspect of this is that everyone is at least a little bit something that ends in istrophobic. We all have these things within ourselves. Obviously, there are different levels to this, and it's definitely not a one-size-fits-all sort of thing. The fact that we're all at least just a little bit something that ends in istrophobic is nothing to be proud of. But if we're going to make judgments on others and treat them poorly because we assume that there's something that ends in istrophobic, we also need to look at our own issues and be honest about it. And just because you never say anything that could lead anyone to believe that you're anything that ends in istrophobic, it doesn't mean those kinds of thoughts never guide your actions. Sure, you can pride yourself in never having said the wrong thing, but it doesn't actually make you better than anyone else. I mean, do you want a sticker? Do you want an iron-on for your shirt that says, I'm the most virtuous? Do you want more Facebook clout? Purity spiral, anyone? I'm sure it'll help, right? Thanks for watching.